Hello. Hi. Hmm. Any guys here? Hello. I don't know why I'm talking in slow motion. Right. We can speed system. it up. Yeah. <laughs> um, We've gone sort of hydroponic-y. Sort of. Yeah. We've got two systems, this one and one at mine. Mine really is a hydroponic system. This one is a, a new thing which many of you may have seen before, many of you may not have seen before. So, I think we'll start here. Yes. Um, so we just potted out the plant. Um, it took two of us, we couldn't record while doing it. Um, so we, this is the plant we had in the hydroponics, the bodged hydroponics before. Um, which was in that big pot in there. Which was in the bucket. The bucket now has a different use. Get to that. Um, yes, uh, so we potted it out in a medium, which is 50% clay bubbles, 50% soil, which is why it's not proper hydroponics. But you could, you don't have to use soil, you just need something a bit absorbent in there. Uh, so there's the plant. But don't just use the pebbles because it's not enough... Um... Capillary action, it's called. It's not absorbent enough. Yeah, don't use that, but not everybody knows what that word means, because I certainly didn't. Basically it doesn't absorb enough water. Well, it absorbs water, but it can't make it go very high. So... You end up with roots at the top which don't get anything. Yeah. Or so, little. So we just repotted this from doing that. Um, at the bottom there is a two inch layer of just clay pebbles, and the rest is that, so that the water, we'll show you in a minute, doesn't just... Uh, the roots don't get too wet. Basically, so instead of using gravel, we've just used that. Um, so yes, the actual unit is called a auto pot, for, uh, and we bought it from Growwell Hydroponics. Yes, they're, they're not, not getting paid to say that yet. Um, <laughs> the, um, so it, the main bit is the bucket's been repurposed into a reservoir now. So we had to drill a hole and put a grommet and some tubing in. It's filled with nutrient solution, uh, watered down obviously, just so we don't have to water it. And then under here is this valve. Which only it, which allows this tray to fill up to. Sorry, it's a bit loud. Oh, it's a. There's a helicopter. Barack Obama. Barack Obama, really? I don't think so, but going over in his helicopter. Although Wales, no, Wales, no, no, Wales no, no, is no, the no, other no. way. <laughs> yeah. We do have the UN nearby at the moment. So, yes. Um, NATO. So, NATO or UN? One yes. Of them. One of them. Yeah. Um. Anyway, right. The valve. Yeah. Back uh, to back to reality. Uh, it allows the tray to fill up with about two centimetres, three centimetres of nutrient solution and then it locks off. Then it allows the solution to be absorbed by the plant and then after it's been reduced for about 30 minutes and it's below one centimetre or something, the valve opens again and fills it up again. So that's just under there. I like the toilet cistern. Yeah. A dual function. Yeah, dual cistern-y things. Um, that's just a thing to stop the roots coming out the bottom. And so the solution does have a lid, but because we have the hole in it, we've plugged the hole. So that goes on top of there, and which... You've put some feed in there. We're currently using Chili Focus. Yes. Instead of a, a normal hydroponics. Yes, there is also a filter at the bottom to stop anything from getting through. But so it's directly feeding in there. I can't remember exactly how much we put in. Uh, I think we put it in at the high end of the uh, concentration because the plant is established. I believe it's oil based as well because there's a bit of oil on the top of the water in there. Yeah, it's a little oily, but that does come through, so that's fine. Um, yeah, I did read the autopot, they recommend minerals, so not organic based stuff, so it doesn't clog the line, but we'll see how it goes. And I'll, we'll come back in about 30 seconds when I've reassembled it. Yes. So, see you in a second. So I will. Uh... Um, but yeah. Come back. Welcome Here back. It's back in. We've assembled it. So the pot's got holes in the bottom, obviously. Um, so now that valve will make sure that it stays watered for pretty much forever. The plant uh, may or may not have enough time in the season to do anything. Mm -hmm. It's got flowers on it at the moment, but yeah. we're in September now. Yeah. It's a late season one. Uh, my ones at home are just starting to pod, so it might, it might work. Yeah. Or it could be from. It could die from shock from. Yeah, the repot we just did earlier, pulling the roots apart, which you didn't get to see. But there are other videos of us pulling the soil out of roots and stuff, I believe. Yeah. So, yeah, and one other thing, the bucket has. It's good that we there's a hole on top of the bucket. Otherwise, the uh, if it was completely airtight, then we wouldn't have been able to. Um, the, the the solution wouldn't go through. It would just cause like a suction, and it would lock. But okay, 
I uh, we do a couple more things around here and then we'll go around Mark's and have a look at his system yes. and how that's going. I do have a hydroponic system and I will um, show you that next. So until then, I'll oh. see seeing you in a minute. Hello. Hello. I'm back at mine with uh, a couple of days later. My electric greenhouse. Greenhouse, <laughs> yes. Um, this here is the 20 odd pound unit, which I um, basically decided to replace with the bodge job one that we originally did, which was working to be fair, but I decided to just go for one which was already yeah. built in. It's a deep water culture, it's a technical name, and there's only a tomato in there at the moment because we haven't got enough time in the season to do anything worth it, so we're just testing. So there's an air stone in there, if I can get it up. So that is pumping, there's a pump in the back, air going through there, constantly aerating the water with nutrients in it, into the stones for now, plant. This, when the, uh, the tells me how much water there is. Yeah, there's a thingy on the side, it's quite a good deal we think. Um, so it wasn't too difficult to put together either. Uh, once the plant's got some more roots we can drop the water level a bit and just let it dip into the water. But for now, it's just uh, this. In fact, we could probably get away with not having the pump for a while. But a what? What? Probably do with having the pump off for a while. But seeing as there's no roots in the water yet. True. But the pump's back there. Uh, so uh, yeah, everything else is just the other stuff. Really, starting to get little pods now on these. So uh, hopefully, I'll. Uh, We'll get some crops soon. We've got a heater in here, which I'm not going to bother trying and putting it through all of winter this time because it'd be ridiculous. It'd be basically on all the time. So at some point I'm going to bring the plants into the grow light that's inside, which I will show you maybe later in the season when I'm using it more. But yes, this unit spent less time chatting about really. But that's the general gist. Anything else you want to know, then just comment, I guess. But until next time. Bye. Bye.